Alright, welcome back, and we are ready to go take on Walter Bernhard and save Sarah. Finally. So let's go ahead and go to the next boss area. Welcome to my castle. Pleased to meet you. I am the master of the castle. Walter Bernhard. Give back Sarah! Do not rush. Your lady is here. Sarah! Why? Why won't she answer? It seems the lady is tired. Hmm. It seems you are too. Rest a while. What? That whip is Rinaldo's, is it? It can't be. My attack doesn't work! I see. It's just as that knight said. Very well. You've made it this far. I'll return her as a reward. I'll be in the throne room, on the highest floor. I look forward to you making it there... alive? <laughs> Leon... Leon, is that you? You're awake, thank goodness. A friend is waiting for us. Let's go see him first. Sarah, this way! <laughs> Sarah, what's the matter? What's all this racket? Ronaldo, Sarah suddenly... Oh no. You go on inside. But... There's nothing you can do. Wait quietly inside. All right. Please. Take care of Sarah. How is Sarah doing? She's sleeping in the back. <sighs> what in the world happened? The barrier around this house... It responded. <laughs> what are you saying? That's... That's not possible. There's no use hiding it. So I'll tell you plainly. That girl has been tainted by the vampire. You're lying! That can't be! Why would I lie to you? You must accept the truth! Please... Tell me you're lying! She is not a vampire yet, to be precise. She won't even be aware of it. As time passes, she will gradually lose her humanity, like my daughter. Is there any? 
anything I can do? The only thing would be to defeat Walter immediately. Tell me, is this whip effective against him? Why do you ask? I tried to strike him with it, but it didn't seem to work. It is as I thought then. It didn't even work for you. Isn't there another way? Well, there is, but... Tell me, I'll do anything! Then let me ask you this. Can you kill that girl? What are you saying? If you make the whip complete, you can destroy him. But in order to do that, you need a tainted soul. One that trusts you, and one that you can trust. I abandoned everything in order to save Sarah. I could... I could never do such a thing. Even knowing she's not human, it's a difficult thing to do. I'm not surprised. Is she really? Is Sarah really? There's no doubt about it. I confirmed the bite mark. The fact that the barrier responded is proof above all else. Sarah! Did she overhear us just now? Sarah! Please, stay away! Sarah, calm down. Did you... Did you hear us talking? It's okay. Please, trust me. I will save you. I will. You'll see. I appreciate how you feel, but I... I have no time left. No time? I can feel it. My heartbeat is weakening, and my blood is growing cold. I can feel myself changing into something inhuman. If my soul can save others, then I won't die in vain. I do not want anyone else to suffer my fate. Why? Please, if you still love me, please grant me my final wish. I cannot. You dishonor yourself, Leon. How do you think Sarah feels? I know, Ronaldo. I do know. Sarah's soul. Focus your spirit on Sarah. All becomes one in infinity. The tainted soul joins his. Undesired and cursed soul. His blood accepts your hatred for the power to slay! Now, use the whip against Sarah! I swear to you, no more will suffer your fate!
That was one of the forbidden secrets described in the book belonging to Matthias's family. Now that whip has become the bane of the children of the night. Yes, I can tell. The power of hatred and destruction that the whip has against vampires. I'm sorry, Leon. It couldn't be helped. It is no one's fault. It was what Sarah wanted. Are you going already? Yes. I must keep the promise I made to Sarah. I see. Come back again any time. I can be of some help to you. He is so beyond giving a fuck. So now we have the vampire killer. It is the most powerful weapon in the game. And it does some really cool light effects and shit. So yeah, that's the origin of the vampire killer. So every time of Belmont uses it, they're basically using the soul of Sarah, who's a tainted soul who condemns any of the children of the night. It's actually a pretty good twist, if you ask me. And it's actually also kind of heart-wrenching, too. Seriously, he went through this entire fucking quest to save Sarah. And now he ended up having to be the one to kill her. And infuse her soul into the into the whip, so that he could actually kill Walter. God, Walter's a dick. But now, Walter just gave the Belmonts their ultimate weapon. Oh, and this hallway has every single uh, sub weapon. So that's cool. In case you want to switch it up, I'm good with the cross though. I know it's boring and stuff, but I like the cross. It's fun. So I believe we can't jump here. If we jump, then the wood planks will cave in. So, we just gotta be careful. Not like that. Oh, man. Oh, okay, that worked out pretty well. I think that's the new gimmick for this stage. So, yeah, now the whip does some pretty damn good damage now. Against pretty much all enemies pretty much into all enemies. And now, like I said before in an earlier video with uh, the first fight against this guy, it's the doppelganger again. But this time he uses only his fists. He's gonna do some Ryu shit. So now elemental weaknesses don't really matter as much considering the vampire killer can kind of damage everything. I don't know why this version of the doppelganger would just use his hands. I mean, yeah, it does some pretty good damage, but still. You might want to just use your whip and just get some more range on it. Oh, well. It's not even like... Oh, so he's just using sub-weapons now. Alright. Fire kick! One, two, three. Rising Taku! Rising shot. Yeah, that's a good combo. Don't know why I haven't been using it that much. Gotta do a little whip crack. A whip cracker. Damn. Grand Cross. Oh, I love Grand Cross. It's so cool. Oh, gotta be careful. Can't get too cocky. How does holy water hurt Leon? That's my question. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense if it hurt like vampires and shit, but Leon's human. And he's a crusader, so he should be pretty... Well, the boss is dead. Oh, and it just gives us a fucking heart container. Okay, sure. That's the first one I think we've gotten from beating a boss, or a sub-boss. And now there's this thing! Whatever the fuck Alistair Ridley thing that is. So now I think they're just gonna throw all the enemies with all the elements at us. Phantoms. Even though they're obviously skeletons with like fart gas coming off them. 
They have skeletons with poo gas coming off of them. You gotta kill them. Jesus, these things take a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and use the heart repair. Yeah, nothing a little Grand Cross can't fix. I love that item. It's so cool. I know I keep saying that, but still. Okay, so these wooden panels will fall apart and break to shit if you are not careful. What is over there? It's in the book. Yeah, I don't think we need those. Those are some more upgrades over there on the other side. So let's just go ahead and go this way. We want to make progress here. So now we are on... We're on our way to the second floor. This place is a bit smaller than uh, the last ma map we went to, but then again, it's the last boss. So, I guess they kind of just want to get to the whole coup de gras. A piece of paper just fell off my table. Oh boy. Let's just use Grand Cross here. Lizard Knights, what are they doing here? So yeah, I mean, so far this game is coming up with some pretty good plot twists. And again, like I said, it's it's another effort in futility. Seriously, that's another game that I played where oh, draw up, spinning blast. There we go. It's another effort in futility for these games. Like Jack and Daxter, I think was the first. Shovel Knight, there was no futility. You got Shield Knight back. So, I mean, you, you did what you set out to do. Uh, Klonoa, that was an effort in futility because everything was a fucking dream. And, you know, everything you did basically just amounted to kind of nothing except for saving a dream world where you weren't even uh, apparent to it. I don't think Gacha Force was, was futile. Uh, shoot, what other game? Uh, No More Heroes? Yeah, probably, because, you know, Travis, am I going the right way? I think I am. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay, just checking. Travis, uh, Travis w did want to have sex with Sylvia at first, but then he realized the real purpose was to fight Jean, so maybe that was kind of like fake futility, in a way. And I did say at the end, like, everything was for nothing, because, you know... You, you think, like, Holly died because, you know... Travis didn't even manage to get, like, what he wanted whenever he was rank 1. But then again, he... He did manage to have revenge against Jean. Or John. Jean. Jean's her name. He, even in this playthrough, I get the character's name mixed up. Alright, I did mention that secret boss uh, a while back, a little while ago, in the last few videos. But the way that we get to that secret boss is actually locked within the pagoda, within uh, the pagoda of the Misty Moon. It's locked in here somewhere. So the only way to get it is by going through Walter's castle, finding it, and then leaving and then going back to a certain area in order to unlock it. Because this secret boss has been locked up. Like, it's... Like, you don't have to fight it. It's been locked up. Probably for a good damn reason. Because it's the super boss. And it's also probably going to justify why I've been using the duplication glitch a lot. At least to me. And I think to a few others. Eesh. So, in here we have the... The six tablet. And beyond that door is... Oh, wait. This would be too easy if this was... This would be too easy. No. Also, that's not the order it goes in. It has to be the four tablet. We got a, we got a tablet that's too... That's, uh... Too much. It goes up too high. So it's greater than two. You know what I mean. So let's go ahead. I guess we gotta go back to the other way. And if you'll excuse me for just a second. Okay, sorry about that. 
had to handle had to handle a few things around the house. All right. So now we gotta walk our ass all the way back over there. So I'm curious, why wouldn't? So I'm curious, since Ronaldo seems so, you know, since he's so knowledgeable about uh, the process to create the vampire killer, this is probably the reason why he didn't want to tell us after we beat Medusa, because, you know, honestly, could you tell Leon that he'd have to kill his, that he'd have to kill Sarah in order to make the weapon that would kill Walter? I mean, that would kind of be going against the whole point of why he was here in the first place. His whole point was to save Sarah, and now, yeah. Now he's kind of up shit creek at this point. Am I going the right way? Uh, yeah, I am. I am. Sorry. Getting mistaken of that stuff. So, I believe we had to go back down a similar hallway. I think the way to progress through the uh, castle is down... Nope, that's back to the first floor, so we can't go- we're not going there just yet. We need to... Oh great, more of this. Okay, what- what do you got for us? We... Oh. Oh, it's a, another puzzle. You gotta- you gotta do blood, you gotta do the- you gotta do the light candle thing. Shit. Oh man, no, no, no! Wait, which way does this go? Oh. Shoot. We need to go back there. I know, it's... I know, it's weird. Let's go ahead and use this mana prison that I've copied a few times. Everybody super sonic racing. There's no time to look around. Everybody super sonic racing. Aha, you can't catch me now. Oh, okay, you caught me. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, you dick. Alright, hang on. We have to light all these candles because the way to get to the super boss is... There's a certain key item, much like the succubus. There's a certain key item that we have to get if we want to unlock the... Unlock the way to the super boss. So what we need to do is go through this door, go down another hallway that looked exactly like the one that we just went through to get the six tablet. And at the end of it, there should be a item that should allow us to unlock the super boss. But before we go ahead and uh, but before we go ahead and get, and then when we get it, we'll go back to where the super boss was. But before that, we'll make sure the way to Walter is clear so we don't have to do too much backtracking. Because I don't want to waste... I, say it with me now. Everybody's time. I try to make these things as quick and as painless as possible and try to make them as enjoyable. I, I'm trying to make them as enjoyable as possible. That's a cool looking design. That's like a fucking gargoyle face for a shield. That is awesome. And I don't mean to say- I don't mean to imply that my Let's Plays are painful. That might be- if I'm being retu- if I ever get retu brain, that'll probably be a joke that'll be thrown at me. Eh, but that's fine. I try to make them Death Reapers. But they're so tiny! Oh, Look at them with their little axes. They're so cute! No, they're not. They're horrible abominations. I need to die. I'm trying to make- I want to make them as quick and- you know, as informative as possible and as enjoyable as possible. I understand that that sometimes isn't always the case, as with some of my earlier videos, but, you know, I'm... I try here and there. Whether I'm successful or not is up to you. Okay, so apparently crosses don't work on lizards. Insert religion-based joke on lizards here? I, I don't get where I'm going with that either. I guess lizard knights aren't entirely religious, or they don't fear the cross? I, pff, you got me on that one. Alright, so we need to go through this door. Oh boy, another one of these. Fun. 
Fun. Shit. I think Leon's actually screaming. Oh, here we go. Alright. Oh, and there's all of these ancient text and writings. This is probably like saying, like, go back. What you intend to unlock is not for mortals to experience or some shit like that. This is probably like some kind of prophecy or warning on the walls. Or maybe it's nothing. But that fucking looks like a prophecy to me. What the hell could be in here, I wonder? And here is... More health! Yay! But there was another door that we missed. Now how do we get to it, is my question. Oh, it's a path that's not illuminated. Of course. Why make this easy for me, Castlevania? Shit! I'm not exactly enjoying Dave Wittenberg screaming his lungs out. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm trying my best. Yeah. No! Sorry. They are really trying to make this whole secret door thing secret. Like, extra secrety. The unlocked jewel. The stone that unlocks the prison that has been sealed for eternity. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't use this. Because it sounds pretty fucking dire. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds pretty fucking dire to me. That sounds pretty fucking dire. I mean... Okay. Ooh. Well, that, that's the way that you get to the secret boss. This is the way that we get to, that we unlock him. I'm a little nervous, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, if, if it's been locked for eternity, there's probably a damn good reason why. There's probably a reason why that thing was locked for eternity. But I guess we'll find out. But not just yet. First, we want to go back to and pick the middle path instead of the right or the left, so we can go ahead and see if we can unlock the way to Walter's cast to Walter's domain. We'll save Walter for last. Hey, if we can beat the super boss, if we can beat the super boss, then there's no problem for the final boss. I mean, that's kind of logic. The super boss is always tougher than the final boss because it's super. I mean, just look at the Demi Fiend in, in uh, Digital Devil Saga. That's a fucking super boss and a half. Most of the SMT games do that. Excuse me, boys. Ow. Oh. You know, Walter is a huge asshole, but you gotta admit, the guy has some pretty good taste. He's got a good taste in decorum. So, we need to insert the six tablet here. Whip that. And then, it flips it over to reveal the four tablet. See what I mean? Yeah, that's a pretty cool way to do it. So now we can go ahead and go back to the place on the uh, other pathway and unlock it so that we can uh, get the secret that was blocked. Now we can unlock Walter's gate is what I'm trying to say. Damn it. Why do I have such shitty speaking abilities right now? Let's go ahead and save. Because I don't want to do that whole finding the secret key to the unlock jewel. But again, this is not a very big map. But then again, the majority of this video will probably be me fighting 
this oh it's already been 30 minutes fuck according to my timer it's uh the majority of this video will probably be me fighting walter and uh the secret boss so i suppose the finale video oh i guess this is the finale go figure didn't really realize it i guess that will be the finale and then we'll do the uh bonus vid video after this and then I'll finally be able to move on to my other series, which which I'll reveal, I guess, at the end of uh, this, to kind of give you an idea. I'll probably finally reveal what I'm going to be doing after, after, uh, or maybe I'll just save it for the bonus video, or maybe for the end of this one, I don't know. Whatever, whatever uh, I'm feeling at the moment, we'll see. <sighs> my chair is so creaky. I don't know why it is. It's a comfy chair, but it's it's so creaky. And it's made of leather, so why is it all creaky? Is it the wooden side? I don't know why. I don't want my chair to be creaky. It makes too much noise. Probably doesn't pick up on the mic, though. Oh, well. Oh, so, I wonder... So, let me know. Have you guys enjoyed this whole trip through Castlevania? It's not even really Castlevania. It's Walter's castle. Castlevania is Dracula's castle. Through this lament of innocence, I suppose, then. The history of the Belmonts and the Vampire Killer. But yet we've seen no Dracula. Hmm. I mean, we have our leading Belmont. Dracula's... The first Belmont, Dracula's longtime enemies. And we have the Vampire Killer. The weapon that kills vampires and it's the bane of Dracula. So surely we should be... We should have seen Dracula at some point. Ah, the seal has been broken! Let's see what's in there. It is... Dragon Crest. It's the, it's the, uh... It's the door to the final bo- To the final boss, Walter Bernhard. But first, let's go ahead and... Hightail it back to Ronaldo's. We're not gonna fight Walter just yet. Let's go ahead and talk to Ronaldo. See if he's got any new stuff for us. Welcome. You got any better armor? Solar plate. Oh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds a little too good to pass up. You know what? Watch. Watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a we're gonna go ahead and take the diamonds that I've copied. Take about six of them. Yes. And we're gonna buy that solar plate. Because we're gonna need that. Thanks, Walt. I mean, Ronaldo. Keep getting your names mixed up for some reason. Armor. Solar plate. 30% damage reduction. Nice. Alright. Trust me, I think we're gonna need every little, you know, little trick in the book. Every single benefit that I can scrounge up. Duplication, best armor, best weapons. You know, we're gonna need everything we can get our hands on. Because this is a super boss, after all. Oh boy. But where is this super boss, you might ask? Well, what if I told you the super boss was right under our nose the entire time? But first, let's take a few mana prisms. Take a few mana prisms, some heart repairs. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and show off the duplication glitch one more time. Well, maybe not one more time. I'll have to redo this for uh, Walter. So we just gotta... There we go. I think that's about right. No, it's not. How about here? Okay, this, is, this isn't working right now. I need that duplication. Maybe it's here. Nope, that's not doing it either. Come on, it worked before. There we go. Duplicate all the shit we got. Get those diamonds back up, we'll need those. And get those mana prisms back up, we'll need those. Alright, good. We got all the stuff we need. Let's go to the save point, save one more time, and then we're gonna go fight that super boss. Oh boy. I think, actually, contrary to popular belief, the super boss, in fact, is weak to a different whip besides the vampire killer. 
one second. Uh, I think he's actually weak to a different whip besides the vampire killer. It's weak against... Yeah! Surprisingly, the secret boss is weak to the whip of ice. I just looked that up on the Castlevania wiki, so let's go ahead and equip that. Yeah, the super boss is actually where we've been going this entire time. Hmm. The teleport room. Huh. I always wonder what that goat symbol meant. But instead of going up there, we need to go in here. Through this door. Right here. And we see another area that we've never been to before. We need to go down these stairs. Go down deeper and deeper and deeper. Into a part of the castle perhaps Walter didn't want anybody to go in. Probably even himself. Whew, this thing goes deep. It goes frickin' deep. Down, down, down. Jesus, how, how frickin'... How low does this castle go? Okay, that low. Oh man. They have a high potion right here, and a lot of blood. I guess we better remove the seal. The prison of eternal torture. Oh man, that's... That's not great. That's not great at all. Okay, we have our Grand Cross. We have our whip, we got all of our uh, items, all of our gems, all of our potions and meats and various other sundries. I think we pro we might, you know, waste them all, but we're gonna fucking try our best. I'm sure Grand Cross might do some damage on this thing. This is how we get the last orb. That final orb on that, on that, uh, on that notch. He's through that door. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Oh, no, that's not right. That's... That's that fucking summon from Final Fantasy X! The Forgotten One. Oh, that's a fucking good name. Oh, even Grand Cross isn't doing that much. Fuck it, I'll just keep hammering him with it. He hasn't started attacking me yet. Am I just hitting his organs? Is that all I'm doing? Have I not even started the actual boss fight? Grand Cross is not doing much. Well, so far this isn't so bad. I mean, yeah, it's gross as hell, but oh, and it's leaving maggots all over the place. That's not great. Some super boss this is. Oh, but this poison is not great. Serum. There we go. Ew, it's leaving all kinds of grossy stuff here. Fuck it, I'll just whip it. Oh, man, this is just all kinds of unpleasant. Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Fuck, I get this is Castlevania, but that doesn't mean, like, there needs to be fucking organs and shit flying around. Fuck off, maggots. You literal maggots. He hasn't hit me yet, so, I mean, besides the poison, I guess this is not that hard. Ew. His fucking organs and shit are all over the place. Uncurse. I'm sure I'm probably not even begun the boss fight yet. I'm just unchaining him. Even Grand Cross isn't doing much. I'm just gonna keep whipping his heart and possibly freeze it. I don't know why I'm doing Grand Cross again, it just, it's fun. Yeah, I beat him! That super boss wasn't so bad. Oh, wait, no, it's... There's more to it! There's more to it! He's been unchained! He's off the chain! He's off the chain! But he only has one arm! 
Oh, wait, this is like a multi-part boss. I gotta kill every part of him, okay. I just killed his organs. I can understand why Walter probably wouldn't want this guy hanging around. He's kind of gross. I mean, if you're trying to, like, hold a game and this guy's just, like, losing his body parts all over the place, like, oh, come on, dude. I just cleaned up, you know, ugh. Like, I get your, ugh. I'm trying to hold a game here, and you're just making everything gross. Like, I don't want to gross out any of my other hunters who come here. Jeez, man. Sheesh. In that way, Walter probably says it. Ew. I feel like I've seen this kind of boss strategy before. You know, where they just wave their arm. I want to say that was like a Dark Souls or a Bloodborne boss. Mm. This isn't so hard right now. I mean, I get it's, yeah, it's probably a multi-part boss, but so far it's not that bad. Probably when I get out to his head, which is probably where this is going next, that's going to be bad. But right now, not too bad. I keep saying this isn't a 100% run, but so far, look at me. Fuck. So after this, oh, 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 no! Oh, oh, no, 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 that's bad. That's bad, stop doing that. Stop doing that, that's gross. Oh, fuck. Oh, all his fucking blood and shit is coming out of his arm. Dude, that's not great. I get you're the forgotten one, but that doesn't mean you have to be fucking uncouth. Oh. More like forgotten one's manners, am I right? <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, actually Grand Cross is doing pretty good right now. I think I have invincibility frames when I do it. So that's even more reason to use it. Yeah! Or maybe I don't. I'll break your other arm off, you shit. Yeah, suck it! Alright, now we're at the hell. Okay. Why can't I use my whip? Why can't I use my whip? Why? Okay. Oh, it's fucking El Diablo. I'm fighting a fucking old one right now. Screaming will get you nowhere. Oh, God. Okay, maybe that's why this boss is so hard. Because of the fucking laser beam out of his mouth. Stop screaming. It'll be over soon. Oh, that's why the rock's there. Let's find a rock. I mean, a big-ass rock. Hoist it up. Drop it on your face, buddy. Alright, so here's my strategy for beating the super boss. Use Grand Cross and the duplication glitch, and you'll win. Crash Star Gaming, always, always breaking new borders. We're a channel without borders. I'm already a demon. Oh, okay, probably should have. Alright, no more Metal Gear jokes. Fuck. I need to play Metal Gear Solid 3 again. Fuck me, no! Damn it! No! No, 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 no. No, Super Potion. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, fuck. That was close. You are a dick, good sir. Breaking my rock. 
That is my island, good sir. Aw, oh, man. Where's another rock? I need another rock. Um, heart repair, yeah. Alright, this doesn't seem too bad. I mean, yeah, it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't seem like it's too hard. This seems manageable. Again, duplication glitch helps out a lot. Are you mad that I hit all your organs out of your butt? I'd be a little mad. But then again, that's just me. I mean, you had a lot of organs. Such plentiful organs. More organs mean more human. Let's make all the jokes. All of them. Which ones? All of them. All jokes. Diamond! Diamond is not crash! Ooh! Oh yeah, I haven't been using my diamond. I sold a lot of them to Ronaldo. Oh no, it comes back! Fuck! Diamond! Suck it! Suck the Grand Cross! You love it! Leon, move! 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 Oh! Ah. I, I actually flinched a little bit there because I thought I wouldn't make it. But we're almost there. Thank you, Duplication Glitch. You know what? Vampire killer. Oh no, that's not a good spot to be. I don't care if the whip of ice is better. Da 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 da! Oh damn. Uh, super potion. On the standby. On standby. Oh fuck, I'll just use Grand Cross again. No point in quit being cool. Just do it. Just do it the cool guy way. Yeah, there we go. Just do it the way that you win. And there you go, everybody. He's dead. Yay! I did it. Totally legit. So now we got the black orb, which does six saints. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so now the forgotten one will stay forgotten forever. See ya. Ooh. All right. Yeah. We beat the secret boss, you guys. Okay, not through mostly, okay, not through entirely legitimate means, but you know. And we still got a few more minutes before we, uh, before my actual record gets here. So, yeah, but we've made a lot more progress than I did before. So let's go ahead and reduplicate my stuff, and then we'll go kick Walter's ass. And that'll be, uh, that'll be the finale. And then we'll do the extra video. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And we got a pretty good bonus for it, too. We got all the orbs, man. We're good. And we got 88%. 88% Okay! I don't know why I did that, but alright. Let's keep on Grand Cross, though. Six Saints is cool. Well, yeah, we worked for it. Let's go ahead and use it against Walter. But I'm pretty sure this is more of a crowd, uh... A crowd deal. A crowd control weapon. But let's go ahead and see what the other weapons do. Just to be... Just to be cool. Crystal does... Okay. That's pretty cool. Holy water. Eh. I mean, that's... I think knife does something cool. Yeah. 
Yeah! Blade Serpent! Oh, that's pretty sweet. Does it stop? Spread gun? Yeah, it's alright. Axe is kind of weird. Let's go ahead and use Heart Repair. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But, you know, I started with the cross. I'm going to keep using the cross. But, yeah, that's some pretty good options. That is some pretty freaking good options for weapons. I like it. I dig it. And now we can use every single sub-weapon option. I'm sure there's a video that shows off the other ones, but... Hey, guys! Six Saints! Oh, it's a homing laser! Uh, yeah! Yeah, that is cool. That is something we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep that. That's good. That's good. Grand Cross is cool, but that's... That's pretty awesome. Oh, Walter's gonna be no problem at all now. I mean, we killed the super boss. Walter's a chump. He tried to lock that thing away, maybe. Or maybe it wasn't even him. But when they said that thing was forgotten, they must have really fucking forgot that thing. Because it was rotting, and it had... Its organs were falling out, its arm... One of its arms is missing. I mean, I can understand why you'd want to forget that thing, because it was terrifying, but still... How can you? I don't know. I don't think I need the, ma the online map anymore. Whew. Alright. It's time to go fight Walter Bernhard. And kick him in the fucking teeth. That dick. It's time for the finale. Time for the final showdown between Man and Dracula. You guys are not really helping. I'm trying to go have a cool dramatic finale against my my nemesis. All right, let's save one more time for good measure, and then we're gonna go kick Walter's ass. And that'll be another. Yeah, super boss. Super boss wasn't that hard. Okay, sure, I use the duplication shit again, but hey, it's fine. Not a big deal. I didn't do any of the other bonus doors, but hey, that's that's okay. That's fine. We don't need them. We got the super weapon from the super boss. All right, Walter. I hope you're ready, because I'm going to beat you with an inch of your life and then beat you more. Jackass. Turn my girlfriend into a vampire. That's not cool. Welcome. I have been waiting, Leon. Walter. I will never forgive you. I see. It seems you have enjoyed the gift that I gave you. <sighs> yes. Thanks to that, I now have the power to defeat you. Well, that power is quite something. But I am beloved by the night. You will taste my powers. I'll kill you and the night! Interesting. Now the curtain rises on this delightful little game. Did that not work on him? Six Saints! Oh. Um, hey, Walter, about that whole Six Saints thing, uh, uh, <laughs> Agnia. Oh, wait, maybe I need to hit him first. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. What? Now, there is nothing left to protect you. 
I'll fulfill my promise to Sarah now! Not yet. The power of the night is still full. I shall teach you the meaning of true terror! That probably explained a few things. Okay, now we're gonna fight Walter Bernhard. Let me get my six saints back on you, dick. Suck it! Up uh, six saints again? Six saints! Yeah, there we go, now it's working. A uh, Grand Cross! Oh! Oh, ma oh! Okay. Good thing I had that that uh sacrifice doll, otherwise that would have been bad. I'm not focusing and I need to. Already kind of, I'm still kinda of riding the high from beating the super boss. Six Saints! Let's keep our let's keep the icon on the super potion right now. I got a homing laser for you too. And it's called Six Saints. That's just a cool word to say. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's doing the Dracula thing. Oh, oh no. He's doing the Dracula. He's doing that thing Dracula does at the end of Symphony of the Night. Fuck. He's laughing for good reason. He just shoulder checked me. Now I do it. Oh, now you're getting... Okay, Walter's not entirely easy. Just because the super boss is supposedly harder than him doesn't mean Walter's a pushover, I guess. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm out of hearts, but I can, I can fix that. Where's my super potion? There they are. Get close to me, babies. Alright, Walter's almost dead. And now he is dead. Fuck you, Walter Bernhard. It can't be. This should not have happened. Sarah's suffering. And Rinaldo's grief. Carve them into your cursed body and perish. But uh, with my powers, I will surely come back to life. Uh, I could not obtain the Crimson Stone, uh, but someday it will be mine. <laughs> You didn't disappoint me, Leon. I knew without a doubt that you would accomplish this. What is the meaning of this? 
I needed a powerful vampire soul. That is all. Are you saying you used me? Not just you. Your betrothed, Sarah, Ronaldo, and Walter. I used all of you. I never thought it would go so well, though. Is that red stone? The crimson stone? Ah, you know it. I'm impressed. I made Walter's soul mine with the power of this stone. I sense a rage from this whip. Matthias! You abandoned humanity? That's right. By becoming a vampire, I obtained eternal life. That was my goal. It was my revenge against God! Revenge against God? our lives and fought for the sake of God. But God mercilessly stole away the one I loved most. When all I ever wished for was Elizabeth's safety. If limited life is God's decree, then I shall defy it. And within that eternity, I shall curse him forevermore. what the woman you loved would have wanted? The Matthias I know would not have loved such a woman. Elisabetta was a kind, honorable woman. She was concerned only for me to the very end. That is why I hate him! Am I wrong? Did you not defeat Walter with hatred in your heart too? Yes, I'd be lying if I claimed otherwise. But defeating him... No. Preventing others from suffering the same cursed fate. That was Sarah's dying wish. <gasps> Granting my beloved's wish. That is all I can do to prove my love to Sarah. Eternity without her. I thought that you would understand. Dawn is coming. Farewell, Leon. Death is all yours. Other final boss, Six Saints. Okay, so Six Saints doesn't want to work on him. Maybe uh, Grand Cross. Whew. Okay, so sub weapons in general will not work on him. What relics do I have? Flame Spouts, uh, Defense Temporarily, to move faster. Okay, let's use this one. Higher defense is better for me. Minion. Oh, oh boy. Mana Prism. I think this might grant me a little bit of a... Nope, it just gives me higher defense. That's, that's fine. That's all I need. A higher defense will help me. 
A little bit of potion. Alright, so now instead of using sub weapons like I did before, I'll just have to freaking whack death to death with regular old uh, vampire killer. And I'm not doing so hot. There we go. That's the combo. Fuh. Death has got a, a few cool little uh, flaming skulls to work. Okay, that is annoying, though. Let's get the potion out. Oh, he's got that little, uh... He throws his whip like an Aria of Sorrow. Or was it Dawn of Sorrow? Or was it Portrait of Ruin? Or one of the other games where Death throws his scythe. I don't know how to dodge that. Maybe I just need to... Oh, wait, I totally got rid of my only means of hitting you. Except my laser attack. So three uh, squares and two triangles is a pretty good combo to work with. Rising shoot! So yeah, uh, I know I'm not really talking that much considering I'm fighting death right now, but... Yeah, that's kind of the story in a nutshell. Matthias turned out to be using... Turned out to be, since he was a tactician, he kind of orchestrated this whole event of Lament of Innocence to kind of, you know, eternally rebel against God by becoming an eternal vampire, aka Dracula. So, I mean, again, it's not so unlike, uh, it's not so unlike Helsing's story. Low way out. Because, I mean, that's what Alucard in uh, Helsing wanted to do. He basically cursed God for all the shit he had been through during the wars. Yep. Oh, hang on. Did I? Oh, shit. I guess I'll just have to use diamonds from now on. I guess I used all my potions during the Walter fight. Or the... Diamonds, diamonds are not crash though. Diamonds are unbreakable. I don't know why it's taking me so long to kick this guy's ass. Damn it! Stop moving. Just a little bit more, and he should be done. Oh man! Diamond. Diamonds pretty much restore everything that you got, so pretty useful to duplicate them, considering that a Ronaldo will only sell you one, I believe, and they're pretty pricey. So see, sometimes cheating can help, I guess. Oh, screw it. <clears throat> We're almost done. And then we'll, uh, <clears throat> that'll be the finale, and then I'll show off the extra video after this. And then I can move on to my last series. To my, not my last series, to my next series. Sorry. Not getting rid of me that easily. Oh man, I, I'm not, I'm kind of just brute forcing this because I'm not, because I'm kind of just working with the uh, extra items. Almost there. Just fuck it. Just use all the diamonds. Use all the diamonds. We're, the game's almost over. This is the final, final boss. We already beat the secret boss, so we're pretty much good. And done! To think that I would be... I have the power to destroy all related to the vampires. Though you have divine powers, you are no exception. Unfortunately for you, as long as my master survives, I will rise from the dead. I see. Give him this message. You have become a cursed being, and I will never forgive you. This whip and my kinsmen will destroy you someday. From this day on, 
The Belmont clan will hunt the knight! And so the story of the Belmont clan's struggle against evil begins. However, Matthias and the Belmonts will not meet again for hundreds of years. 
Matthias goes into hiding in foreign lands and continues to curse God for eternity. Eventually, he names himself Lord of the Vampires, King of the Night. The years before their next meeting pass slowly and quietly, but with finality. The intermission in this exquisite play from which two souls will never escape. And there you go. Now we can play as Jacquim, the rival character. Funny I mentioned, that's the bonus mode. Crazy mode is a little more difficult. So, tune in next time when I play a little bit of Jacquim's uh, bits. To kind of show, that'll be the extra video where I show you a little bit of, you know, how he plays. Uh, how he functions differently from Leon. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but yeah, I'll show you a little bit. Enough to kind of get a decent idea. So anyway, that was Castlevania, Lament of Innocence. Oh, and uh, for those of you who are wondering what my next playthrough will be, I pretty much all but spoiled it, but tune in next time for Persona 4, The Golden. Thanks for watching, everybody.